So I thought I should post some um my chicken curry in my food prep just to pass the time. I got insomnia. I use Grand Masala Rani brand and of course my chicken thighs and my cauldron. I call it the cauldron, it's actually a pot from the dollars. And my and my vegetables, my onions, I got to um, throw these in the blender, blend them up, and the broth goes in. And I gotta get the carrots, the carrots are inside the, uh, I gotta do my ginger and my garlic, and slice the onions and potatoes, and the carrots are in the fridge. So uh, anyways, it's better to cook like a whole bunch, so I can just warm it up and throw some brown rice or uh, macaronis. It lasts me like a couple, maybe a week. It's actually a healthy way to live. Uh, curry, you can use uh, goat curry or any kind of meats but it's very healthy and economical. For a cash-strapped, pitiful hermit like me, curry is the way to go. Curry and rice, vegetable curry, any kind of curry, chicken, goat, beef. Okay, I put it on medium heat, get the cauldron ready to warm, then I throw some Bertoli olive oil, extra light tasting olive oil. Uh, put enough in there, because I'm gonna throw some onion in there to um, saute. Saute, saute, saute onions first, saute. Makes me wish I had three hands so I could show you my onion dicing skills. Remember the guy on Total Recall, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Total Recall? Makes me wish I had three hands so I could show you my onion dicing skills. Remember the guy on Total Recall, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Total Recall? One of my favorite movies, um, Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Remember the dude, the black dude on Mars? Makes me wish I had three hands. The taxi cab driver, remember? Makes me wish I had three hands. That guy's cool, dude. Well, anyway. Okay, take the onions in. Saute, saute, saute. Just like Lou. Bam, bam. Remember the pro chef Lou? This is his name, Lou Gossi. Bam. So, bam. And then Ranny Gram Masala. About half a teaspoon. Bam. Shit, I forgot to um, smash my garlic and ginger. I like to do them fresh. This is gonna take about a half an hour to smash all this up, so I'm gonna smash them up, throw them in a the blender, and put them in a cauldron. Well, I got that all blended up. Now I gotta blend the vegetables, the tomatoes, green peppers, and jalapenos is what I use. And grind you to smithereens. And check on the onions, saute them up a bit with the gram, throw the salt in until they're kind of golden brown. This curry is very economical for a pitiful dude like me. What is that? Garlic? Anyways, very economical for a pitiful guy like I. So then you gotta stir it up the gram of salt until it's, the onions are ready. And you throw the rest of the ingredients in. Well, well, that's uh, sauteing. I'll tell a little story, okay? I have, I have like a little uh, entity or ghost. I don't know if it's a djinn or a spirit or a demon. It's a female though, but she bothers me sometimes. And I know it's not my mother. It could possibly be my sister, but it doesn't sound like my sister. It sounds like a younger female. But anyway, so small little story for the tale. Sometimes it's like a legion of little bitches. I call them the little bitch voices. So I thought, well, maybe it's electronic harassment through the Wi-Fi and the Gwen Towers. Sometimes I just talk shit to them. Like, bitches, I used to sleep in the cemeteries in Seattle when I was homeless in Seattle. And that's a true story. But hey, you know what uh, the safest place in the world is? The cemetery. Why? Because everybody's dead in the cemetery. Ciao. Safest place on earth is a cemetery. Yeah, good one. Because everybody's dead. Haha, <laughs> funny, trying to be a comedian. Ah. Uh, a couple years ago, like four years ago, I did one of those uh, trap a spirit in a bottle and buried it in the forest. A genie in the bottle, baby. I trapped you. Now I must have trapped one of their little friends and buried her in a forest. I promised to dig her up. Yeah, I promised I'd dig that bottle up and release that spirit or gin. These little bitches better hope I don't die before until I dig it up or that's gonna be buried for eternity. I'm a pitiful man of my word. I just never got to it yet. I gotta get one of those metal detectors to find that bottle at the precise location I'll be digging for months. All right, well, it looks about right. So I'm gonna throw a, a tablespoon of curry powder next. So you do a heaping spoon of curry powder. 
I like mild, I like spicy too though, but stir it up, ooh, little darling, stir it up. Yeah, let it um, sizzle a bit, and the next ingredient goes in. The ginger garlic paste is the next, the next ingredient. A couple minutes, let it uh, sizzle. And you stir it, stir it, stir it. Some tasty curry. The next is the vegetables. I'm becoming an Indian, a good Indian chef. Too bad I'm a Native American. So does that make me a good Native American Indian chef? Okay, in goes the green peppers, tomatoes, and jalapenos. And you stir it up again. Now I'm gonna dice my potatoes and carrots. I ran out of celery, so minus the celery. Then you cover it up and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. I did my um, chicken thighs earlier. I put um, eight, or no, 12. Yeah, 12 chicken thighs. I usually freeze them. Four to a pack, I put three in, so 12. Let's check on that. When the um, olive oil separates, you can see the uh, oil separating on the sides, you know it's time to put in the chicken and the chicken broth and the vegetables. Perfect, just what I need, four cups of um, the broth. And then the chicken thighs, and then the carrots, got to dice into uh, potatoes, so almost there. Well, it looks about right, about five more minutes. Throw in the rest of the ingredients. Well, and now I add the chicken thighs. And stir it up for a while. Then I can add the broth, four cups I use. Perfect, came out perfect. I use a slow cooker all day for the chicken thighs so it's really tender. I like it when the chicken falls right out the bone and it melts in your mouth. Mmm, well the dogs, the dogs will have some uh, bones to chew on the next few days. Why? Well, let's throw a, put the chicken broth in there. The next, the uh, vegetables. And then I'm, I ran out of celery, so I did more potatoes. And there she be. Well, I put the timer on for like uh, one hour, so it should be good in about an hour. So that's my uh, chicken curry recipe. Everything's the same, you can add beef or goat or whatever else, um, whatever kind of meat you like to use, or just eat vegetable. So then you just put, uh, leave it on medium and let it simmer in about, I put an hour and a half, should be good. Years ago, I used to be a cook in restaurants, so um, I kind of have a little bit of cooking under my belt, so I've become an excellent curry maker now. Indian curry, and I use Rani brand curry and gram masala. Well, anyway, I'll, um, that's, that's all there is to it. Chicken curry. The human Fazirman's chicken curry. Always remember to come in uh, occasionally stir and check on it so it doesn't burn. And there you have it. See how the um, oil separates from the rest of the product? And that's a wrap for this uh, chicken curry Rani brand. Good night. Tell us your man show. Tell us your man show. Tell us your man show.